Oh my god, Lava Reef, holy crap! Yes! Yes, I approve. Sega, you, you Sega, you done good. You done good. Or Christian Whitehead, you done good. Hey, that's the dude from Hilltop Zone, from Sonic 2. Sega, you done good. What is this? Do these... Oh, cool! It's like a little walker thing. But, oh god. I love Lava Reef Zone. And is that the, uh... No, I'm pretty sure that's Act 1. Yeah. Act 2 sounds disturbingly different from Act 1. But I'm pretty sure this is Act 1 still. Music-wise, sorry. I'm off in my own little world. Hi, guys. How are you? Zuko here. Oh, God. This is just so... Oh, God. Yes, this is good. This is very good. So I know what I want to talk about. So last episode, I mentioned that this game has some DRM in it. And... Okay. This is a good game. It's a really, really good game. And I'm going to go into a little bit more in-depth into this topic when I do my review of this game. Which I have officially decided is actually going to happen. But I'm just going to talk about it a little bit now. Just for the sake of you know, having something to talk about. Hey, cool. Fence. Hey, cool. The drill zone. Hey, you stupid brontosauruses. Uh, stop distracting me, everyone. Anyway. So, the concept of online DRM, particularly this online DRM. Online DRM as a concept is uh, anti-piracy, always online. All, okay. Specifically, always online DRM. Let me specify there, because... What I was about to say was really, you know, that I think DRM... I think DRM's good, kind of. There's nothing wrong with, you know, making sure that someone purchased their product, or purchased the product before they, you know, bought it. Uh, piracy's a very gray area in the internet world. I don't necessarily condone it, because uh, unofficially, I may or may not sail the seven seas but i i understand the concept behind you know avoiding piracy and i do know that yeah they make uh yeah people like game developers and the big name companies like activision and uh really really famous uh artists like i guess jay-z and you know uh kanye west and van halen and the Beatles are all dead except Paul McCartney, but you know, that that still kind of counts. Damn it! Okay, not what I wanted to do. And I decide to get more rings. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, way to back up, but I uh, Anyway, I'm getting off topic. DRM in general, digital rights, digital rights management, oh god. There's nothing specifically wrong with it that I, um, that I'm against, provided it's used responsibly. Loading your DRM down like apparently Sega has done, or De Novo, whatever this is, the malware that it is, is not responsible DRM. It's specifically there. And more to the point, loading additional DRM on top of the fact that it's already on Steam, which is a DRM platform. You know, you have to buy the game on Steam before you can access it. Otherwise, it won't let you access it, even if you have it installed. It says you need to purchase it. It's a form of DRM in itself. You know, it's... Adding additional DRM on top of that is legitimately, you were just doing it to be pricks. There is no excuse for that. I mean, okay, it's just, if... If... If the game was legitimately getting pirated that much and you had these statistics to prove that it required that level of digital rights management, maybe, maybe, but beyond that point, you were literally only abusing your, you're literally only abusing your right to have, or your right to protect your, um, cons your right to protect your co product. It's like four in the morning five in the morning. I'm sorry, my words are not all here. But... Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, okay. My words are not all here, but uh, two forms of DRM on top of something that's already pretty good. I don't know many people who get, you know, away with pirating games on Steam. Unless you're talking about them pirating the games and then just adding it to their Steam library as a non-Steam product. That's an entirely different problem that, you know, you kind of can't do anything about. Because, fortunately, the Steam UI lets you, is friendly enough to record your non-Steam games. You prick! No! It's friendly enough to let you uh, keep all your games in one place. It's very user-friendly. But loading down your DRM with uh, malicious ads and malicious malware just on top of the fact that you already have a DRM in place that's proven to work effectively well, you're doing nothing but abusing your consumers. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I was, you're doing nothing but abusing your consumers, and that's not fair. And on top of that, this game, the DRM that they've chosen, will not let you play the game offline. You need to be online in Steam's online mode. You can't go offline in Steam, like, you know, toggle offline mode on the Steam uh, UI and then play it like that. No, that doesn't work. It, you need to be in online mode in order to play this game. And this game has, like, no multiplayer functions Except maybe a leaderboard, and I'm just guessing at that, because I can't prove that. I don't know. I haven't checked. But what's the point in that? This game doesn't need to be online. That's literally another case of, like, SimCity Online. Or the SimCity, the DA release, it's literally the same thing. Okay. Uh. Okay, I probably shouldn't touch him. He's hot. Okay. So, I guess I wait till he's attack. I wait till he attacks, spin out of the way. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm not supposed to hit him at all. Okay. Now maybe I hit him. Yep. Okay. Prick. Prick! Yeah! Dick! So that was a midway boss. And the room cooled again. That means we're on our way to the true and blue act too. I hope. Yeah! Whoa, hold on, whoa. That is so cool. But you're doing... I'm repeating myself again. Moving on. The developers did say that they were going to work on a way to um, deal with the... Uh, DRM because they did say that this game was supposed to be a game that's played offline. So, you know, if you still want to buy this game but you're worried about the uh, stupid DRM policies, don't worry. The developers, the actual people who made the game and not Sega, got you covered. They were looking into a way to deal with it. But it sounds like this wasn't their choice. With the way they said it. Um, however, there was something shady mentioned on the store page. They did say that they were surprised that the store page didn't mention that it had DRM and not that the DRM wasn't supposed to be there, so I could just be talking out of my ass. But they did say that they were going to look into a way to get it to play offline, so if they wanted the game to play offline, that's fine. If they wanted the game to play offline and still have DRM, you should just leave Steam in the care of the DRM. Okay. Tails, you're useless. Well, you're more useful than you were in Sonic 3, I'll give you that. Nope, going this way. Um, what does this do? Uh, oh. 
So that doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. So that's what I'm supposed to do. Nope. No Eggman blocks. Hey, hey, come back here. Hey, hey, you. Don't care. No, damn it. It's gone. Why? Oh, I have 12 lives. I mean, that's more than I've had at any point, other point in this playthrough. So we're doing all right. And no supersonic this time. I promise. I hope. Friggin' flamethrower. What? I didn't even see him. He blended right into the background. And I didn't even hit a goalpost. <sighs> well, that sucks. This time we gotta find a goalpost to hit. And also not run into spike balls. No good. These lives are taunting me. Hit the flip. Don't get crushed by crab meat. Bounce on the spring. <laughs> Sonic's gotta have some major brain damage after that. Oh, you bitch. What if I wanted that? Oh, God. Emergency springs. Or evasive spring. Hey, cool. I made it this time. Let's see what's up here. Oh. That's up there. Well, at least I can hit... Sp or at least I can spam jump now without worrying about going supersonic. Also, I don't have to worry about having more than 50 rings. So I can start collecting extra lives again. I'm pretty sure that was Knuckles as part of the stage. I haven't played Knuckles yet, but I... I'm kind of guessing based on what his stages look like in a, or how you got to his paths in um, Sonic, or uh, 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 yeah, Sonic 3 Knuckles. Prick. Wait, what's down here? Is there anything? There is something down here. Lots of exploding. Oh. Okay. So I probably would have had a good chance to find it. Oh well. Ugh. Could be worse. I mean. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, part of me was relieved that, uh, part of me was part of me, a very small part of me was relieved that the footage was kind of gone, because then I'd have another chance to get the Chaos Emeralds, but I was beyond pissed when I found out that I loaded up and suddenly my save wasn't there. I was, um, was not happy. Why? <laughs> Redo! Okay. Hey, bub. Stop doing that. Don't do the blowy uppy thing. That's not cool. Doing the blowy uppy does me a bad. Oh god, that wasn't smart. Damn it. Oh god, that wasn't smart. You know, I, I feel like I'm the king of not smart today. If my sister were here, she'd tell me I was the king of not smart any day. Oh god, no! Okay. Need to be careful. You know what? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, 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 wait, wait. No, no, no! Redo! Oh yeah? Well, you know what? Remember who controls your fucking power cord. Uh, damn it! Fine. Tails be useful. No. Tails be useful. 
Why couldn't you be that useful last time? What the hell, Fire Shield? Do your job. Oh, so there was something that I noticed um, that I thought was actually pretty neat. But if you get hit and you have more than like five or if you have more than like ten rings and you get hit, uh, a lot of your rings will jump together into bigger rings and the bigger ones um, and you can collect them all a lot easier. So like if you pick up a bigger ring, if you were to get hit and you had ten rings, it would all drop as just one giant ring as opposed to uh, ten tiny rings. So you'd have a but simultaneously easier and harder chance of picking them all back up because, well, you have more of a chance of getting all your rings back at once. You have less of a chance of getting your rings back at all. I kind of like the fact that they scatter because it gives you an ability or gives you a chance to get at least some of them back, and you really only need one. So there's really nothing wrong with a. Uh, only having one or only just there's really nothing wrong with just having one ring it is helpful to have more than one ring but there's nothing wrong with just having one explosion you will survive just the same if you have one as you have you will mostly survive just the same uh, if you have one ring as if you had 20 you just have more of a chance of you know reclaiming them get off smoke what just happened? Redo! Nope, we're going that way. We're going this way. We're going this way. And now we're going through that door. Where does this go? I feel like we should be near the end. Or at least pretty close. Screw you and your vapor fumes too. Oh god. Haha, ha, you're not a problem anymore. Although, you could be. Hey, we are near the end. This is where you start climbing up the stairs and where Knuckles throws you off. Except now we're in Knuckles' as part of the stage. Kind of, or we're supposed to. Yeah, and then this is where you go to the Hidden Palace. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Don't touch my shit! Okay, well now we know what to do. And why did you convert the hidden palace into a giant freaking stunt arena? Hey, get back here. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, Tails, you're not incredibly useless. Come on. Gotta keep the rings. Nope. Damn it. Well. At least we still have a ring. What? Hey, that was poorly timed audio. That wasn't fair. Eat it! Damn it. Got you that time. And that time. Oh wait, did I win? Sweet! And I guess that clears that back too, guys. So I will see you in the next episode. Whatever that may be. This was Lava Redo Zone. Peace.